What is good, Culture Makers? It's your boy Vince here with Jelsey all the way from Puerto Rico. <laughs> Today we are talking about a lot. We got the Grammys, we got the Ukrainian president, we got the Oscar controversy, TikTok trends, and so much more. And we answer your questions. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Did you watch the Grammys last night? I did not, okay. but I was up to date on Twitter. I think so, it's very interesting. Uh, Olivia Rodriguez, she was nominated for like 95 things. Yeah, a lot. But she won uh, Best New Artist, so shout out to you. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats, Olivia. Living That's, your best life. Yeah, she's really And young. then uh, Silk Sonic, are they, you a fan of them? Yeah, I am. Yeah. They won Song of the Year, Leaves the Door Open. Silk Sonic, congratulations to you. Yes. But here's the cool part or a neat part about it. The Ukrainian president yeah. was at the grant. Well, he wasn't. He wasn't physically there, but from a video. bunker, yeah. he shot a video. I think really cool. So continue prayers to go out to uh, Ukraine and the things that they're going through. Yeah. And uh, we know that God's with them. We know God's been answering prayers and situations. I've been hearing from people there, but I think that was probably one of the coolest things I've heard yeah. of and seen. He was like urging musicians to like tell their story through music. Very good. So if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. As, just like this is on YouTube, what's not on YouTube? So right. yeah. check that out. So as we all know, everyone's still talking about it. You know, uh, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock about a week ago. Yeah, that yeah, went down. That, that did go down. Mm -hmm. And so there's been some apologies and now he officially stepped down from the academy like he put in his resignation. Yeah, he did. Thing like that, like he's just like, you know what? You can't cancel me, I just quit. No, yeah. he didn't quit. Is that he, he just did it before? Resigned. Yeah. But they still can bring reprimands or Yeah. Yeah. They're actually they're gonna be working on that in the next couple of weeks. They're gonna like do this whole trial thing to see where they stand. But yeah. On slapping people. During the <laughs> show. Yeah. They're gonna do a whole trial to see. Yeah. Hey, let me know how that uh, works out for you guys. It's still kind of strange they did that. It's kinda yeah. like if you're at college, you know, some of y'all will be in college one day. Mm -hmm. And let's say you cheat on the test. Right. And generally, there's some kind of governing board that determines what happens or whatever. You just admit it. I cheated, mm -hmm. and I'm leaving college. Right. But yeah. yet they're still going to talk about what they're going to do to you. And you're like, but I'm, I've am i left the... Yeah. In his case, yeah, it's like, I'm resigning. I am not voting. Because if you're a member of the academy, you vote for... Right, like, you can be voted, you can be asked to come back, you can be nominated for awards. Yeah, but he's that. already won the biggest award. Yeah, so. literally. Who knows? Okay, yeah, next okay. up. Uh, Jess, are you a TikToker? Do you have a TikTok Not, channel with five million followers on no, it? No, I don't. Two million followers. No. Any f followers? Well, I have a few. Okay. That counts as something. <laughs> do, you, are you, do you post on a regular basis, or do you just on there to... Yeah, I'm mostly there to like scroll, do the scroll, not okay. really post. Do you do the trends? Sometimes it depends on what it is. Current trend, treadmill model walking. Yes, I saw that. Now the word in the street is you used to be a supermodel, is that true? Well, no. <laughs> the thing is that you like set the your phone, right? You set the, the video and then you just start walking normally. On a certain part of the song, you just Strut, begin strutting. So is it the same treadmill. song every time? Yeah, it's the same song every time. That's that's TikTok for you. Let's yeah. all see the same like, song 90 billion to. times in two exactly. weeks. Exactly. And then we get tired of it, and then we go to a new song. Yeah. I love TikTok because it's it's like the same thing on repeat with different people. <laughs> right, uh, yeah. But it, uh, we just see who does it the best, and then we don't even vote on it, then we just go to the next trend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no shade on TikTok. Make that money. Camilla. Camilla Cabello. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's it. Smart people. She was. That's why we always have smart people in your life. I'm going to let you do this. Go ahead. Yeah. Camilla Cabello, she wrote an essay about body image and like body insecurity uh, following some paparazzi photos. And she actually said that culture sees pictures of women and praises them for looking fit. But what is health if you are so fixated on what your body looks like that your mental health suffers and you can't enjoy your life? Oh, That's so like to look really the physical deep. part, yeah. but the mental part is suffering because yeah. of everything you have you're to trying do. To, yeah, you're trying to like get to this goal of looking like this and like that takes a toll on your mental health for sure. Right, and when doctors have proven that there is not necessarily a physical look that we all look like yeah, that exactly. is the definition of health. So yeah. You can be healthy but not necessarily 
look a certain yeah. way, especially since we're all built differently. Yeah, every body type is different, yeah. Right, but what's praised is usually one yeah. certain type of look. You're like, oh, look at person A, they look so mm -hmm. healthy, when in truth, they, they could be healthy, or, or they, they could be yeah. unhealthy because they're doing unhealthy things right. to achieve that, that certain look. look. Yeah, for so, sure. I praise her for speaking that and saying that because it shines a light on that. Like, no, you don't have to feel that pressure to look a certain way to be considered as fit or healthy. You just take care of yourself and that's, that's the most important thing. That's yeah. right. Take care of the body God gives you. It is his temple. So use it for his glory. So take care of it for yeah. a healthy way. For sure. And next up, Bruce Willis, my man. Like I should go watch a Die Hard movie right now. <laughs> he's stepping away from acting because he has aphasia diagnosis, yeah. which basically he's had a hard time remembering things and what's going on. So he's stepping away. Yeah. We'll be praying for you, Bruce. Yeah, for sure. It must be like really hard because he's done this for how many years? So many years. Yeah. And like to not do what you love anymore. It's like it must be really hard. So, so definitely go focus prayers. on your health. Do you have a favorite Bruce Willis movie? I love his appearance in Friends. It's really funny. Okay. So, have yeah. you watched that particular episode several times? I have. Are you a big Friends person? I am. Any other Friends fans Let there? Let us know. Let me know. Well, do you have a favorite <laughs> Friends episode? Uh, yeah. Uh, Thanksgiving episode. Turkey on the Head Thanksgiving episode or the other ones? I like when they're playing football <laughs> okay. outside. That's one of my absolute favorite episodes. Did yeah. you watch the uh, reunion? I did. What'd you think? Oh my God, I was so emotional. <laughs> Oh, I think I like how uh, we can watch TV shows and they invoke certain emotions mm -hmm. in us. And I think Friends is uh, one of those shows that's just special for a lot of people. And I mm -hmm. think it's because when you look at that group of friends who've been through so much. Right. And they come together over time and just and people think to themselves, I want that kind of friendships in my life yeah. through the ups and the downs and things like that. Which yeah. actually leads us to our first student question. The question is, it says, is it better to walk alone if I feel like I can't find quality friends? Hmm. If your friend group is not of a good influence on your life, then I think it's better to like walk alone than to have like bad influence or bad friends in your life because you know people will end up being influenced influence, and do yeah. bad things if their friends are doing bad things yeah. in the name of having friends mm -hmm. and i think i would agree until you can find the right people mm -hmm. i think it's better to not run with those people yeah I don't think you have to initially like isolate yourself in a cabin in the middle of the woods right. because then you won't find the yeah. right friendships in your life. But again, it depends what you mean by not the right people. Let's say your friends do illegal activities. Right. You might want to avoid them all yeah. together. Let's say you have friends who don't necessarily do illegal things, but they gossip behind your back or mm -hmm. something like that. And they talk about other people. Maybe you don't let this particular people in the group circle, your inner circle of friends, yeah. but maybe they're talking about Marvel movies mm -hmm. and you're in that conversation, right? right? Yeah. But when they start talking, you're like, oh, I got to step away. Right. But I think you won't find other people um, if you don't open yourself up and to correct. having those conversations. Yeah. So I don't think we mean by isolation, don't talk to other people. Mm -hmm. I just think don't run with them. But that doesn't mean you have to like be alone. It just means mm -hmm. it's gonna take you some time to find one. Just don't substitute real relationships yeah. in for a fake one so you don't feel alone. Uh, Cause know this, uh, as followers of the way, as Christ followers, God is always with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to be wise. Yeah, another question here. Uh, Kendall asks, how can I show the Lord through my day to day life uh, in school, sports, church and anywhere she goes? Like, how as a follower uh, can people see Jesus on us? What do yeah. you think? I think loving people. Come on. Oh, that's good. Because the Bible clearly says yeah. they will know by how the way we love others. Come on, somebody. Yeah, for sure. And like how you treat other people. And that's like our testimony. We don't even have to like be like totally direct, like, hey, I'm going to talk to you about Jesus. They just have to see Jesus through you. Yeah. yeah, I love that. I mean, that's it's like you just quoting the Bible over here. How do you love people? And that's a great question. It's easy yeah. to say things like I go to church. Right. But right. do you look like you go to church? Mm -hmm. Do you look like you read God's word? Mm -hmm. And how do we demonstrate that? Like Justin said, simply by loving other people. It's not always to love other people because they don't always do things that we like or that we even agree with. But Bible says we will know by love. So love people. Exactly. Love is an action. Love is kind. Love is patient. Mm -hmm. Right. First Corinthians 13. 
ready to hop in and see what it truly means to love and care for one another. And we're so glad that you guys were here with us on Culture Makers today. Yes. Jelsey, thank you for being here. Yeah, you were you awesome. Me. You're a rock star. Remember, if you have questions, you have thoughts, you have ideas, put it in the comments. Let us know. We're always down there responding, checking out. Like, yeah. subscribe, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Peace.